So the Academy Awards got us thinking. If we were to compile a list of the five most cinematic games, what would be on it? Bear in mind this list is not fact and just the opinion of some of our writers, a harmless bit of fun between game enthusiasts. Let's begin. Five. This Naughty Dog adventure will be remembered for years to come by both gaming and movie fanatics. Back in 2009, both gamers and casual watchers were amazed by the spectacular acting by the likes of Nolan North, Emily Rose and company, as well as the standout action scenes that over four years later are still incredible. Uncharted 2 tells the thrilling worldwide gallivanting story of Nathan Drake and his crew trying to find the legendary treasure of Shambhala. This third person shooter was the perfect blend between platforming, shooting and cutscenes as each level felt challenging and engaging with Nathan Drake's hilarious quips about what was happening around him. As you scaled the levels, Naughty Dog kept throwing new curveballs that rewarded the player with the whole section on a moving train or a falling building in Nepal. And this Uncharted game in particular feels memorable. If you have not played the Uncharted games and love action adventure movies such as Indiana Jones or National Treasure, you owe it to yourself to play this perfect cinematic gem. Four. Say what you like about Quantic Dream's Heavy Rain, but you cannot deny David Cage's willingness to take risks with ambitious projects and his ability to blur the lines between films, games and interactivity. Heavy Rain was a PlayStation 3 exclusive that told the story of the origami killer who drowns children using rainfall. The focus of Heavy Rain was to tell a noir story that dramatically changed based on the player's choices. The impact of these choices could result in a main character dying, the mystery of the game left completely unsolved, or the game ending with the demise of the killer. Heavy Rain's cinematic qualities derive from the game's strong theme of loss of life, as well as the camera direction and action scenes and dynamic script changing to how you react in a scene. We cannot deny how fresh and unique this game was back in 2010. Three. No other game this generation has had such fantastic atmosphere, art and overall voice acting. In Bioshock Infinite, you play as Booker DeWitt as he is tasked to bring a girl to two people so he can wipe away his debt from years back. Without spoiling the story, this girl Elizabeth is no ordinary person as she has the power to shift time and space. Throughout the game, you get to explore wonderful but at the same time gruesome landscapes, which are both thought provoking and brimming with personality. For example, one of my most memorable moments of this past generation is when you set foot in the world of Colombia. The buildings are flying through the sky, there is a bountiful festival occurring within the city and the area is filled with colourful propaganda and lighting. The voice acting by Troy Baker and Courtney Draper for Booker and Elizabeth is some of the best within the industry. With powerful emotional scenes between the two characters and such chemistry between the actors. The story written by Ken Levine rivals the likes of cinema with the deep themes of racial discrimination, rebirth and the sense of manifest destiny. Bioshock Infinite brings a vibrant world with a well told story, world class acting and plenty of memorable moments. Much like Heavy Rain, L.A. Noir succeeded in bringing new gameplay mechanics to the cinematic experience as you play as Cole Phelps, a detective for Los Angeles Police Department in the 1940s. With state-of-the-art motion capture technology, Team Bandai managed to bring an incredibly cinematic gameplay mechanic in which you could tell if a suspect is lying, bluffing or telling the truth from their facial expressions when you are interrogating them. In the game it is up to you to solve several crimes within the narrative of L.A. Noir, and you can end up being completely wrong. L.A. Noir had AAA graphics, top notch voice acting and a wonderful world that felt authentic to the 1940s timeline. While the development of this game took 7 years, the wait was certainly worth it for anyone who loves a great crime solving adventure. It's time to tell me what really happened. One. The Metal Gear series is the creme de la creme of cutscene direction, with Metal Gear Solid 4 receiving two Guinness World Records for having the longest cutscene 
and the longest cutscene sequence in a game, which amounts to a whopping 27 minutes and 71 minutes respectively. The series has been defined by its long winding story and lengthy cutscenes and it's no surprise since the creator of the series, Hideo Kojima, is a major film buff. Certain parts of the series have been heavily inspired by classic or cult movies. Hideo Kojima is a massive fan of cinema and his love for film is often reflected in Metal Gear Solid. As each console generation progresses, cinematic games have grown in popularity and we have plenty to come. So there you go, those were our 5 most cinematic games. Did we leave out anything that you think should be included? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. As always, if you want to stay up to date on the latest gaming news, previews, reviews, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you like all of your information in video form, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright, that's all for me. Take care, folks.